All right, y'all. It's fucking 2020, and we are in probably the most expensive part of fucking uh, LA. I'm usually around this area because of the comedy store. And uh, in case you haven't noticed, it's a fucking high and hungry episode. I'm back. My co host, C minus. And we also got Aton, but we also, more important than Aton, is his dog. OG. 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 Who uh, mm. is, is going to get baptized. Aton doesn't let nobody hold this dog, but. Are those initials for not original gangster? Ha 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 ha. So, as I was saying, it's the most expensive fucking uh, neighborhood out here. Because right behind me, this construction site is going to probably be worth like 14 million like next six, in the next six months. <coughs> and people like you are going to think it's okay to move over here and pay $6,000 a month. We haven't really done a lot of food trucks, but Aton has been fucking uh, recommending this one for a while. Uh, you know, Aton, our Jewish Russian friend. Apparently this place is called uh, the Yeasty Boys and uh, they have their own twist on bagels and stuff like that, which is really great. Cause like they have um, like a bagel sandwich. They have that, what's that shit that you guys put in it? What's the shit that you guys put locks. in? Yeah, locks. What's the, what about, what's that blue one? What blue one? They have a blue one on there. No, but any blue one. Okay, so they have this blue fucking bagel. They have the lock shit. They have the, the sandwich, which is like your typical kind of stuff. Yeah, I saw is. this one with pulled pork, which is like the Reuben kind of fucking. It's the Reuben. The Reuben the fucking Reuben. bagel sandwich. They pretty, they pretty much take your fucking bagel idea, like how the different kind of bagels. They make a fuck a bunch of inside toppings, and they create these sandwiches for you guys. Yeah, my far fetch. No, not at all. I mean, I'm really look. They, they have your what would be like your classic take on a bagel sandwich with like the egg and bacon and cheese but they got how do you like the do, do you like an overabundance of cheese with your breakfast when it comes to a sandwich because the the bagel is such a fucking thick piece of bread yeah i have to have a lot of cheese on it yeah and i like <coughs> but i like it to be proportionate with the eggs or whatever else i'm having too but how do you yeah, like your eggs on there uh scrambled yeah. but sometimes over you know over medium is rad where it's still you know <coughs> get, just get the the yolk to like pop. I, I didn't know I didn't give you one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what up, OG? He looked like he was gonna fucking bite the fuck out of the joint. Like, yeah, that was the, that was the best. No, he ain't about it. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, not, not yet. <laughs> hey, this is the only time you see Mexicans in this neighborhood, bro, when it's being built. Wow. <laughs> in all honesty, this the city of West Hollywood always takes care of its city. If it's true. It really does, man. Like they keep the area fucking clean. If there is an accident, there's a huge mess. It's cleaned up within 24 hours. It's like a, a bachelor like me couldn't hope for anything else, but you get lucky and bow in a girl that has an apartment like this, and you just wake up and stay there during the daytime. You know, smoke weed. Do my comedy shows at night. What are we smoking? <laughs> yeah, what are we smoking? What are we, smoking? Uh, we are fucking smoking. Uh, this is flavor. It's that rock star shit by fucking Rojo, bro. Uh, Imagine how many times the cops would have to show up. Yeah. Zero. <laughs> they, won't, they won't come here for weed. Yeah. You know I mean? They they would rather <laughs> see you smoking a joint than dr uh, than driving and texting at the same time. Yo, big thank you to everybody that has been fucking shopping on the website at highhungry.shop or uh, flavorsbyezone.com. Six consecutive items sold out. Uh, the High and Hungry Grilled Cheese Beanie is out. That one's actually sold out, but the Grill 2.0 is uh, out now. So flavorsbyezone.com. In case you guys have been sleeping, don't forget that uh, you guys, shit, while supplies last, a lot of you guys get hooked up with three, four gifts that make the fucking order worth a lot like more i mean so some of the stuff that i hook you guys up with is probably worth like 60 dollars 60 dollars worth of shit just off of my sponsor so i appreciate your support flavors by ezone.com high and hungry dot shop and uh we're just about almost done getting high yeah and then i'm pretty hungry i i like starving during these days yeah i don't ever eat anything it's like when, we, when i know we got to do these episodes like it's like you wake up and you're like i can't eat anything you have those vitamin burps How you doing? Shady Wap. Can you make it heavy? Can I get an additional half round of side paper? Let me get the game over. Let me make it heavy. Chris. All right, y'all, so we finally got our order from uh, the Yeasty Boys. And let me tell you this, a uh, regular, you know, you, we're used to the high and hungry type of shit where we like blaze it like somewhere nearby. But like I told you, you saw we had a blaze it before, but it makes it worth it because we got to know the place. 
And we see why this place stays fucking packed. I don't know, I want to say, yep. Because I got a turkey patty in it. So mine originally is supposed to be like the Chetty Wop, which is like an overload of cheese. I put a turkey patty in there. When you ask it to make it heavy, they put one of these in there, which is like a fucking uh, a hash brown. A hash brown, but you know, I had to get one on the side. This definitely seems, uh, it's kind of like a healthy cheeseburger fucked the bagel and made this right here. That's what I'm doing. What are you doing? Yeah, I, so I got like, I got, I made it heavy with the hash brown in the middle. Mine's got jalapeno cheddar and a scrambled egg as opposed to an over easy or over medium and bacon. I wanted to see what it looked like because this is one of my favorite things to do with cheese. Like, yeah. And I've mentioned that before. This right here to me is fucking gold. Like this right here, like on any, like when I make quesadillas at home, this is what I fucking do on the outside. Look at this is on a cheddar bagel. All right, cheers, man. 2020, I'm hungry. Yo, know, that fucking show, outer show right here, man, it's all fucking worth it, bro. Usually, like a bagel or something around that, or that, around that type, is very, it's very, you know, it's hard to chew. You know, not that, not like you know, it's difficult, but you know, it's a lot because bread. This is kind of like having like the like a crunch wrap almost, you know, because like the outside you feel like the end of the bits crunch all together, and. Uh, I want to say it's like an egg muffin. It's kind of like a. You ever had that Dunkin' breakfast sandwich? Mm -hmm. It's like that. I used to do this thing at McDonald's where I would get a sausage McMuffin, but I'd take out the sausage and I'd add my own hash brown and I'd add some bacon. So th I used to make that sandwich when I got McDonald's, but I used to like it. So this is kind of like if they really did this sandwich and like did it with like quality product. It's it's got a really it's got a, it's a heavy taste. When you make it, when you put this hash brown in the middle, it's delicious. I mean, you might think it's fucking ciabatta rip, but it's not. They're just as thick as like the type of bagels you would like. Have you ever been to Costco? You know what I mean? We fucking get like those big ass, the, the bag of like a dozen, and, like they're hearty ass bagels. Mm -hmm. It's like that, man. That was hella good. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to finish my other half. Let me tell you why though, man, because when you make it heavy with the hash brown in it, man, it just changes the game up. Look at this shit. You got the bacon, you got the cheese, you got the egg, you got the patty, and it's not no fucking frozen patty. Look at this. Look at that. <clears throat> What's egg. that? This is eggs, tomatoes, the jalapeno cheddar. Yeah, but what's that sauce? It's the jalapeno cheddar. I'm not too sold on yours. Jalapeno sauce. It, it tastes better than it looks. Oh. For sure, for sure. Mine is literally like the cheeseburger fucking bagel around breakfast time. And this was born. Now look at this right here though. Mm. You gotta love this shit right here. Like this itself, this combination of the yolk and the egg with the crusted part on it. That's what I'm talking about right here, man. This right here. That's some shit that happens while you're in the mix. You can't premeditate that shit. It happens with the magic they do here. And a fat person like me should appreciate it. Sometimes we get very lucky and we get to talk to some, you know, the individuals behind the fucking actual like restaurant and the whole vision. The creator and owner of Yeasty Boys, which is an amazing, it's literally, I described it as like, if I could have a cheeseburger for breakfast, yes. this is where I want to come. That's what I would love everybody to think this as. How long have you been, like, how did this start, man? So we started in 2014. We were doing, like, we were doing, like, Hennessy and fucking pineapple cream cheese and weird bagel where concoctions out of our apartment. Now? Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So basically just doing stuff out of our apartment. And then, um... You know, we had this idea, like, it was a fun side project. Like, it was like, yo, let's start a band except make bagels. And that's what we did. But <laughs> we, rad. yeah, it was, that's how it felt like, dude. <laughs> it was very, very organic and, like, very, very. And this just, was in 2014? This was in 2014. And then from there, it was like, you know, let's test the market on this. And I hit up uh, one of my, my homies that does the food for Coachella. And I was like, this would crush on the campgrounds when people wake up wasted, hungover. It worked out really well. And then a week after Coachella 2015, we got our first truck. Damn, and like how many trucks are you up to now since 2014? Uh, three, we're talking about a fourth one coming up. Damn, wow. any, any plans Amazing, of like man. actually Congrats. opening? Thank you so much. Yeah, That's congratulations cool. on Thank that, you. man. I like, Aton's been like, 
telling us about this for like he's years been my long time homie dude and i mean i'm Shout glad out private photo <laughs> right and like i mean I, i'm glad we finally got to try it is there any plans for you to actually open up an actual restaurant yeah man like i've always kind of like uh i've always kind of like th threw it around but you know the, the gorilla just street shit is like, I've always been fascinated with food trucks. You know, one of my favorite trucks, Gorilla Tacos, who has a, actually a brick and mortar now is Wes uh, via legend. Um, you know, I've talked to him, I'm like, should I, should I get a, should I get a brick and mortar in trucks? But I don't know, like I think the model currently is just, is working for Maybe us. Maybe a pop-up? Maybe a pop-up. You know, we've done some cool stuff in coffee shops and I'd love, dude, I'd love to do a pop-up in like New York or like Miami or some shit. I feel like it's, you know, cause bagels is almost like a, they're like the healthy donuts. Exactly. The you know what I mean? Like yeah. <laughs> savory donut. Yeah, <laughs> like they come, they donut. come with less, you know, deep fried ingredients. Dude, you, the you Jewish know. donut. Yeah, the Jewish <laughs> donut. <laughs> yeah. See, and I was just always like, dude, cops eat fucking donuts. So you know what? Bagels. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Straight up. Man, yeah, I heard you guys are pretty popular on film. Beastie Boys, no cops. Yeah. I heard you guys got a really lot of a lot of fans in the industry of film. When, there's a lot of sets they do odd times, a lot of morning sets, um, and people just want breakfast. When they come out, like a lot of the production crew, we feed like 150 to 200, you know, we did, you know, How to Get Away with Murder, that TV show. We have the Goldbergs TV show coming up this Friday. Uh, we did something uh, with uh, one of my favorite rappers this Saturday, uh, but I can't talk about it. I wish I could. Yeah. <laughs> See, but, but that's, yeah, that's man, I mean, those are the opportunities that you don't think, did you ever think food was gonna get th get that for you? Not at all, dude. I literally was like, I, I was doing music PR and playing music, and again, like starting a band thing, it was like, I, I had that mentality. That's well, it was where I came from. So this is just like a one, way, food is just one way to communicate uh, to, to people. And I think that like it's a universal language aside from music. Exactly, man. And that's one hundred. And it, and bagels are a really good sort of like uh, blank canvas. You can do anything with bagels, man. Any type of sandwich that you've ever had, you can do on a bagel. Yeah, man. Like Agreed. I, like you know I, what I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely. I've never had a sandwich on a bagel. That I didn't My like. first time exactly. having a having a bagel sandwich wasn't even like a deli, bro. Like. We didn't have any like any like regular bread, and my right. grandma whipped this up when I was a kid. So she just made a fucking sandwich like out of like a big one. I was like, oh, I don't visionary. Know you, I, 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 I didn't, Grandmother's I didn't, a visionary. I didn't know you could do this. And, like it was like a deli sandwich, yeah. but with the, and I was like, oh man, I got way more full than I thought. So yeah. it's, it's crazy. You can't do a lot with a bagel. And uh, thank you so much, Evans, for like letting us come in here and getting our high and hungry on. And I hope our viewers. I know a lot of them. Out. I know especially here, considering that the cookie store is not that far from here. I know that a lot of viewers. Uh, Definitely yeah. get high and hungry here, so uh, if you guys stop by. I always go and hit that Gary Payton strand, dude. And then I go, <laughs> oh, that. That's some good stuff right it there. Is. So if you're watching the High and Hungry, make sure you come get breakfast out here, because I know a lot of you stoners come over here to pick up some weed, so why not come pick up some breakfast at the same time? And it's not just way. any breakfast. If you ask and you make it heavy, make trust it heavy, me. Yeah, right? make it heavy. Make That's it the heavy. way, dude, all day. Yep. And uh, where can we follow you guys at? Yeasty Boys Bagels at... Yeasty Boys Bagels Instagram. Hit me up. That's all of our schedule, all of our photos, menu shit. Follow along there. You heard it here from Evan, the guy who fucking created, owns, and this fucking painting this bagel vision everywhere, you guys. Yeasty Boys, hi, I'm you. First episode of 2020. We're back.